the short clip you just saw is of ankle clonus. In this video, I'll show the full clip how to perform it. What is ankle clonus? What are the causes? In which condition clonus is seen? And what is the significance? So without wasting much time, I'll introduce myself. I'm Dr. Chirag Milan, working as an intensivist, ICU consultant at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. So let's begin. Clonus is an involuntary rhythmic oscillatory stretch reflex in which there occurs alternation of muscle contraction and relaxation which is of frequency around 5 to 8 hertz. This clonus signifies upper motor neuron lesions and is usually associated with hyperreflexia in, in other places as well. First, most commonly it is the ankle, second at, at knee or the patella, third at the level of wrist and fourth at triceps and fifth at the biceps. Right? So uh, there are many sites to see the clonus. Now this clonus is termed as ill-sustained clonus when the beats or jerks are less than 5. Whereas if it is more than 10, it is termed as sustained clonus. Now talking about the significance of clonus, why is it important? So it signifies first of all the upper motor neuron lesions like in cases of cerebrovascular accidents, CVA, uh, in cases of ischemic uh, stroke or hemorrhagic stroke, right? Second, in cases of multiple sclerosis. Third, in cases of cerebral palsy. Fourth, in cases of encephalopathy, right? And also it is present whenever there are systemic diseases like liver failure and mainly in cases of hepatic encephalopathy. Second, in cases of serotonin syndrome. This is very, very important. So clonus is present in serotonin syndrome. And third important is preeclampsia. So whenever the patient, uh, the pregnant patient is of uh, preeclampsia, then they aren't having a clonus. That is a risk factor for getting conversions. Okay, now I'll demonstrate how to perform it and what to see in this video. Now to perform it, patient should lie supine with relaxed knee and that too in a slight flexion. In this case, in our video, I have used pillow beneath the knee or you can just hold the knee with your arm, with the other arm, right? Now the examiner with the other hand grasps the foot and suddenly forces the ankle into dorsiflexion as shown. And now you can see the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the foot. So this is what is clonus. I hope you like the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.